morning everybody first off hey see i got boxer shorts <laughs> um they're my sons and i actually am a boxer so <laughs> anyway and they're comfortable i sleep in them so um anyway um i just thought that was funny because you know whatever <laughs> they actually are comfortable um yeah, I got another son's shirt that I was thinking about pulling out because it's black and it would make a match set. I usually don't wear black. I used to a lot, but I was in a different kind of mood around 17, so I got a little colorful after that. So anyway, yeah, I thought I'd tell you about a disturbing conversation I had last night. I was talking about how I wished that... um uh. I could be friends with everybody. I wished every, excuse me, I wished everybody would be okay. And Doug's like, uh, they're all going to go to hell. And I was like, well, I hope not. If not, if I can do anything about it is what I said. So excuse my um, jiggling. So anyway, I just thought I'd let you know what was on my mind this morning. And, you know, one more time, if somebody directly offends me, and as a shitty person, trust me, I'll do something about it. They'll pay for it one way or another. You will. God helps like that. So if you've had an injustice done to you, God will work that shit out. He doesn't let anybody hang. It might take shit. I'll tell you what. I've been waiting uh, 60 and a half years to get justice on somebody that did some real horrendous shit to me more than I'm even saying so um I'll just leave it at that Ooh, shaking shaking I, I do get a little pissed off thinking about it so in fact I'm going to set you down a minute if I lose you I'll, I'll um do that whoop whoop hang on hang on I think that'll be okay there I'll sit and talk to you so oh maybe so yeah just having some coffee got up and got things going this morning and oh heard everybody's upsets and everything else and i truly understand being betrayed like you would not believe i just honestly wish i understood it be you know whatever I don't talk to a lot of people, and a lot of people don't talk to me, so that's the way that is. So, anyway, mm. I heard some dork make a <clears throat> statement about my boxer shorts, you know. But when your kid's in jeopardy of dying and you got his shorts laying around and your shorts um, aren't comfortable, well, then it just kind of makes sense. And then when you're wearing them, you're thinking, geez. I hope he comes back to take his shorts back, you know, so. And we're all about the same size, my kids and I. They're taller than me, but we're all about the same size, so. Um, except, you know, like I got woman curves, and I think they still look like men. <laughs> no, <laughs> I haven't seen them for a while. But, yeah, I heard from my uh, granddaughter's mom, and, she said she's going to ask her whether or not she wants to do that, um, talk with me on my show. Uh, she doesn't hear from her dad, so she might not want to. But that doesn't mean she'll want to talk to me. I know she will. She might not want to talk publicly, though. And she is only five and a half. But, and I know there's a lot of times she has a lot to say and isn't able to say it, so... Yeah, and then she has um, three other cousins, girls, my granddaughters. Um, I've got uh, Brenya, Gwyneth, and um, blah, blah, um, Lillian. <clears throat> so, oh, geez, not Lillian, but Evelyn. <laughs> I had a relative named Lillian, too. So, but yeah, which I've never met any of them, so. Maybe someday. Well, I have a feeling, but 
I just thought I'd get on here. I haven't really done much but made coffee and get up and I talk to God in the morning and um, I really do. I get up first thing in the morning, not every day, but normally um, when I'm making coffee, I see the sun.